You brought a lawsuit against your doctor claiming that he was careless, causing you significant harm and injury. Why, during the course of your lawsuit, is it critically important for you to explain to the defense attorneys exactly why your problems are disabling, why you are no longer able to do the things that you used to be able to do, and why you are limited and experience problems doing your daily activities? You want to know the answer? Come join me on this walk through the neighborhood as I show you exactly why you need to do that. Hi, I'm Jerry Oginski. I'm a New York medical malpractice and personal injury attorney. You brought a lawsuit against your doctor claiming that he was careless and caused you significant harm and injury. During the course of your lawsuit, the defense attorneys representing the people whom you have sued will have an opportunity to go ahead and question you in a process known as a pretrial deposition. That's really a question and answer session that you give under oath and it takes place in our office. Now, there's no judge there and there's no jury there, but the answers that you give to these questions carry the same exact weight as if you are testifying at the time of trial. During the course of questioning during your deposition, the defense attorneys will want to know exactly what injuries you have. What are you no longer able to do? What activities of daily living are you unable to do? What activities do you do that produce pain? What limits you? How are you disabled? What can you no longer do that you used to be able to do before? And you might be thinking, I don't understand. I'm a stoic person. I don't like to share these details with anybody. I don't want anybody to really know what I'm going through. Well, the reality is, in a lawsuit, it is critically important for the defense attorneys to learn exactly what problems you have. You see, they will have the medical records, your medical records, by the time they question you. They will know exactly what is in that medical record, every one of the doctors whom you have seen. But there's a lot of information that they don't know, such as, how are you feeling after you try and do certain activities? What are you physically incapable of doing? Under what circumstances do you experience pain? When do you have pain? What keeps you up at night? What is it that you're no longer able to do that you used to be able to do before? Why can't you do these activities? This information is not readily available to them unless you have gone ahead and explained in great detail to each one of your doctors who are treating you and likewise that your doctors have gone ahead and recorded every single piece of information, every single detail that you have told them about. In all likelihood, they will not have done that. So the defense attorneys will want to know exactly what problems you have now and how it has affected your lifestyle how it has affected your family, how it has affected every aspect of what you do each and every day. If you do not disclose that information to them because you're afraid of telling them, you don't want to share that information, you're normally a secretive person and don't like to disclose your medical issues, well, I have something to share with you. When you bring a lawsuit seeking compensation for all the harms and losses and damages because of a doctor's carelessness, your medical condition becomes an open book, which means the defense attorneys have that opportunity to go ahead and learn all about you and all about your medical condition. If you fail to disclose that information, now you are putting them at a significant disadvantage and you are also harming your case. Why? Because now the defense will be making determinations and evaluating your case on insufficient and incorrect information about how badly injured you were as a result of this doctor's carelessness. So if you choose not to release certain information or disclose information to the defense because you don't want them to know about it, guess what? Then they will never have any idea how badly injured you are and you will never obtain full and fair compensation for all the injuries that you suffered because of this doctor's wrongdoing. So that's why during the course of a lawsuit, it is critically important for you to share this information during the course of your pretrial questioning. And now the defense attorneys will ask you in detail, hey, Mrs. Jones, what problems do you have now that you didn't have before this wrongdoing happened? And how is your life different now? And what activities can you do? What activities can't you do? Tell me about that. Explain to me why you're unable to do the following things. Why do you have pain? When do you have pain? What medication do you take in response to that? How has your family been affected because of the things you are no longer able to do? Now, why do I share this with you? I share this with you because there are some people who think, you know what? My personal issues, my medical issues are my personal information. And yes, that is true. But when you bring a lawsuit, these people are trying to evaluate what problems you have and the extent of your injuries and your disabilities. And if you don't share it with them, now they are going to be hampered and now they will not come to an accurate assessment of exactly what your case is worth. 
You know, I realize you're likely watching this because you have questions or concerns about your own matter. Well, if your matter did happen in New York and you're thinking about bringing a lawsuit but have not done so yet because you still have questions that need to be answered, what I invite you to do is pick up the phone and call me. You know, I answer questions like yours every single day and I'd love to talk to you. You can reach me at 516-487-8207 or by email at jerry, G-E-R-R-Y, at oginski-law.com. That's it for today's video. I'm Jerry Oginski. Have a fantastic day.